Hi, I'm Lisha, the founder of Rosebud, and in this tutorial, we're going to take you step by step how to make a game on Rosebud in a few prompts. So let's get started. We'll start with generating a few of the characters and the background and the scenery. So we'll generate a fairy, a bug, ground, and background. All right, um, so let's try to put that in the scene. Please create a ground, ceiling, and walls. All right. So that didn't actually work, but this is a good example where you have to work with the AI to sometimes rephrase the prompt to get a better result. So now that we've established our characters and scenery, let's move on to the physics and character control. So let's add controls to the character, Rosie the fairy. We should be able to control movements and arrow keys, move left, right, and flutter upwards. As you can see, the prompt was incredibly precise, and that gives a high chance of success for the AI to implement. Great, that worked. So now that we're done with the character controls, uh, let's move on to the enemy logic and scoring. Let's add an enemy and use the bug asset for it. Should be on top of the screen, always moving right and not affected by gravity. So as you can see again, I'm being very precise with what I want the AI to do, and that should allow it to be more successful. Great. Part of what's fun about Rosebud is, you know, you can prototype so quickly that sometimes I don't have all the ideas of what I want in the game, but like, I want to experiment. So why don't we make the bug 10 times smaller? I'm iterating with it. You know, okay, that's not exactly what I want. Can you make the bug asset appear upside down? Oh, that looks pretty cool. So, okay, let's make the bugs spawn from both sides of the screen at random intervals. As you can see, Rosebud's really successful with all of these changes. And so now I get to experiment with all of this enemy logic and dynamics pretty quickly with just a few prompts. So now that we've finished setting up the enemy logic and how to eliminate enemies, let's move on to the last and final step the scoring system. So let's implement a scoring system that increases each time Rosie successfully eliminates a bug with her magic. Display the score on the bottom screen. That worked. Okay, so let's make each bug worth one point. Great. So now there's actually a point to the game, pun intended. You can vanquish these enemies and gain one point each time Rosie successfully does it. You know, there's a lot of other mechanics you can add to the game, but this really gets you a sense of how to get started on Rosebud.